Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel, today's video, we're diving deep into a topic that is fundamental to every pharma setup but often misunderstood, the types of water used in the pharmaceutical industry, yes, water isn't just water in pharma. It comes in multiple types, each with specific uses and purity standards. Potable water, let's start at the base, potable water. Also known as drinking water, this is the starting point for all pharmaceutical grade water, key points, sourced from municipal supplies or wells, must meet local drinking water standards like BAS, India, EPA, USA, or EU norms, not used directly in drug manufacturing unless it's further purified. Used as feed water for generating purified water or WFI, in short, potable water is like the raw material for water purification in pharma, purified water, purified water, often referred to as PW. This is one of the most commonly used types of water in pharmaceutical manufacturing, how it's made, through reverse osmosis, deionization, or distillation, sometimes in combination, applications, formulating non-injectable drugs, cleaning of equipment and containers, reagent preparation in labs, standards, must meet pharmacopoeia standards, USP, EP, JP, for, conductivity. Total organic carbon, microbial count, it's pure, but not pure enough for injectables. For that, we need something more potent, water for injection, WFI, water for injection, or WFI. This is the purest form of non-sterile water used in pharmaceutical processes, production methods, traditionally through distillation, now approved via reverse osmosis ultrafiltration under strict conditions, applications, manufacturing of injectables and parenteral drugs, final rinse for sterile equipment and containers, key requirements, must be pyrogen-free, stored hot, above 70 degrees Celsius, or under microbial control in circulating systems, WFI is a critical component. Especially when it comes to patient safety. Sterile water for injection. Now, what if you want to directly inject water into the body, or mix it with a drug for injection? That's when we use sterile water for injection. What makes it special? It's water for injection that has been sterilized, packaged in single dose vials, used for reconstitution of powdered injectables, drug dilutions before intravenous administration. It contains no preservatives, so it must be used immediately after opening. Bacteriostatic water for injection. Now here's a sibling of sterile water. Bacteriostatic water for injection. This one contains an added antimicrobial agent like benzyl alcohol, purpose, to allow for multiple withdrawals from a vial. Used for multi-dose medications, warning, not recommended for neonates or infants due to preservative toxicity. Deionized water. Deionized water or DI water. It's not often used directly in final products but is important in many stages, made by, passing water through ion exchange resins, removes charged particles, ions, like calcium, magnesium, chloride, uses, rinsing glassware, cleaning of equipment, feed water for further purification, it's ion-free, but may still contain microbes or organics, so it's typically used with additional treatments, distilled water. Distilled water, Produced by boiling and condensation, it removes many impurities including minerals and microbes. Used for lab testing, cleaning, as feed water for WFI systems, not sterile, not injectable, but great for general pharma applications, water for hemodialysis, next is a highly specialized water, water for hemodialysis. Used in dialysis centers, it's ultra-pure because it comes in direct contact with a patient's blood, treatment includes, reverse osmosis, deionization, ultraviolet light, ultrafiltration, this water must meet stringent standards to ensure no harm to dialysis patients. Clean in place water, CIP water or utility water. This is not pharmaceutical grade but still used extensively, used for, cleaning of pipes, tanks, and equipment, Pre-rinse or post-rinse before using purified water, it's usually filtered and softened but doesn't meet PW or WFI purity standards. Alright, let's quickly recap the key types of water used in pharma and their primary uses. 
water may look simple, but in pharma, it's a whole science. Understanding these types and their applications is essential for compliance, product safety, and overall manufacturing quality. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay compliant. See you in the next one.